Pallavi. This is Pooja Talwar from Good Times. Uh, so, well, let's start. The big fat Indian wedding just got a whole new meaning with Tom and Jerry, right? Exactly. We, uh, we, we never would have imagined a big fat Indian wedding would have a cat and mouse ch chase of such proportions. So have you always been a Tom and Jerry fan and what was it like sharing screen space with truly the legends, I would say? <laughs> well, you know, unfortunately we didn't have Tom and Jerry with us on set. Uh, they were inserted afterwards. So we were very curious. We're like, these guys are real divas. They don't actually come to shoot every day. Uh, they just send stand-ins all the time. But no, definitely it was a real honor to be a part of a, a, a kind of very iconic, um, you know, cultural, figure and do figures that were loved by my parents, loved by me as a child, and now hopefully will be loved by the next generation. Absolutely. So what was the atmosphere like on the set and you're playing Preeta and you know, I'm kind of really happy to see the inclusivity that's coming into the casting in films that really makes me very happy. So what was the atmosphere like in your experience? Look, the set was like a festival every day because there were so many of us, you know, any Indian wedding scene, whether it's in India or abroad, ends up being like that because there's so many people. Um, you know, I was in that massive langa every day, like walking around like a real bride. Thank God for my experience of working in Bollywood because I was like, I've worn a hundred chunis in my life. I can handle this. <laughs> um, but, you know, it was, as you say, it was a real joy to witness the way the narrative involved Indian culture in such an integral way and very seamlessly, I think as well, it wasn't sort of turned into a thing. It was just very normal and normalized the fact of an Indian, ma uh, an Indian woman and a, an American man getting married and choosing this cross-cultural Indian wedding, because it's true. That's how a lot of NRIs and people in the diaspora do it. So as a woman who grew up in Australia, I found it very authentic. And honestly, I mean, when it was being shot, I mean, what were your reactions like? Do you think that you would want a wedding like that with the elephants and Tom and Jerry? <laughs> I'm going to wear a cotton sari and go to a park and have five people and say, Pandit ji, karo. <laughs> Khatam karo. Totally. So who was your favorite character other than yourself and Tom and Jerry? <laughs> uh, gosh, I'm a real fan of Terrence. You know, he just makes me laugh every time. Michael is such a phenomenal comic actor. But everyone, you know, like Rob Delaney as the, the manager of the hotel, Ken Jong when he comes in. I mean, I was just totally, every moment, every day was like a starstruck moment for me because these are some of my favorite comic actors. And getting to work so closely with Colin was such a joy because he was so collaborative and he really wanted Ben and Preeta to be believable uh, for everyone because fundamentally, if that love story doesn't work, the whole film kind of doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I think I was very fortunate to have such a great ensemble and a beautiful star in Chloe. Yeah, true. And what about Tom and Jerry? Who's your favorite, Tom or Jerry? You know, Jerry was sneaky once he did come to set, but he ate all the cheese at, uh, at craft services. And I was like, I don't like you. You're cunning in real life. I like Tom. He's simple. He's fine. We'll get along. <laughs> like, we're very ritualist. <laughs> I totally agree with you. You know, the thing is, you feel Tom Cat is actually the evil one. He actually is, and Jerry is a troublemaker. No, he's a, he's like a simpleton, Tom. Now I realize what he's really like. <laughs> and uh, other than that, I mean, do you remember your first Tom and Jerry and your experience at the movies? Because you know, this has been in the lockdown. What has it been like for you? Gosh, well, I've been in Australia uh, back with my parents after many years, um, <laughs> which has been really interesting, but. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a time for us to reflect on all of these wonderful past things that we did. And um, my, I watched the screener with my parents in December and, you know, they had a real laugh. And my father is filled with nostalgia because Tom and Jerry was very important to him growing up. He said that at college at IIT, they would watch it in the gardens, uh, and which was a shocking revelation to me. I was like, why are grown men watching Tom and Jerry in the 70s? I was like your adolescence was lacking but um yeah it, it's a really it was really symbolic to watch it with them because it was the idea of families coming together and having a laugh at a time when we really need it absolutely thank you so much and I hope you don't have a Tom and Jerry moment at your wedding but this wedding was great fun if it wasn't for them thanks Pooja so nice to see you again same here likewise bye-bye